multiply 2 thirds times 3 over 5. So the first thing we should do is look to see if anything can cancel. So here we have a 3. So this 3 can cancel with this one. And so this can be written now as 2 over 1 times 1 over 5. Again, you can cancel like that, but it has to be diagonally. Notice the 2 and the 5 don't really have any common factors, so we can't really cancel. And now we just multiply straight across. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. And that would be the final answer. Another way of doing this that sometimes people do is they first multiply, then they cancel. So like this. So you multiply straight across. So 2 times 3. Multiply straight across. 3 times 5. And then now you see the top 3 and the bottom 3 cancel. So you get 2 times 1 over 1 times 5. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. So two different ways of doing the same problem. I hope this video has been helpful.